is here, uh, so we, we can begin. Uh, please. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте, я сейчас, сейчас я включу. Здравствуйте, уважаемые участники семинара. Я хотел бы, я хотел бы поблагодарить профессора Анатолия Дороговцева за разрешение выступить с докладом в этом семинаре. Значит, я в первую очередь хотел значит, тем нашего доклада, моего доклада называется «Некоторые функциональные определения теорем для ветяж процессов с миграцией». And, uh, So uh, I want uh, to uh, tell us some uh, about some results of four uh, branching process with immigration. So uh, outline of my talk is here and I want uh, to begin with uh, the sample models of branching process. Uh, this is a Galton Watson branching process. And <coughs> so, uh, Branching process uh, is a steadily growing body of mathematical research uh, having application in various areas. Uh, for example, in theoretical population biology. Uh, this process were initiated in the 19th century by Galton and Watson for studying the extinction of some family names. Uh, since then, uh, the complexity of this process continues to increase, allowing to describe more and more realistic population dynamics. Uh, so a basic version of branching process called uh, as Galton Watson process, uh, we can say this uh, type of process describes, uh, for example, population of particles, which leave uh, one unit of time and, uh, uh, and And at the moment of, uh, for example, death, give birth to a random number of new particles. So uh, here I will, uh, I have, I'm going to focus on the on, on models in discrete time since they have, to, uh, since have uh, they have the double advantage to be easily written as re as recursively models and to easily correspond to the time unit of observation, which offers a pedagogic framework. So. Uh, suppose uh, we have a probability space uh, on which an array of non-negative integer valued random variables in I is given. Uh, here we, uh, uh, we suppose that these random variables are independent and identical distributed with common dis uh, probability distribution. Uh, to avoid uh, trivialities, uh, we will assume that uh, this probability P, P0 is, uh, is larger than zero and uh, these probabilities is less, the sum of these probabilities is less uh, One and therefore uh, we can uh, see th this probabilities is not equal to uh, one for energy. And now we give the definition of a branching process, a Galton-Watson branching process. Uh, this process uh, is defined uh, recursively by this uh, equation. Uh, it's well known this process is homogeneous Markov chain, and uh, uh, this process, uh, as I say, is. Markov chain uh, in which space uh, in the non-negative integer in the space of non-negative integers with and uh, with station transition probabilities. Uh, uh, this probability is given by the following. Uh, here the delta EG is a chronicle delta N. Uh, PGI is the Gs term of the ice fold convolution of the sequence PK. Uh, It's a uh, uh, very interesting uh, inequality, which describes the property of branching process. Uh, so uh, I, I want to tell about uh, this uh, uh, equality in the most common interpretation of this formal definition 
is, uh, I think, in, in the terms of the ev evolution of population, because uh, if the state space consists of a number of individuals, uh, when an, an individual might be an, an animal, for example, or a, a plant, but also a cell or an elementary particle, uh, the defining property is that uh, it gives birth, uh, splits into all, um, somehow generates new individuals. In the beginning of the population, uh, the population consists of only one individual, uh, say as an encaster, but with a unit lifetime. In the end of its life, the encaster produces a random number uh, of springs, uh, or we may say direct descendants with probability distribution PK as we saw. Every direct descendant, uh, say if there is any, has a, a, has a unit lifetime and it's the end produce independently of other descendants, a random number of offspring according to the same offspring distribution, PICA. So uh, this is a random world of C and Z is a direct, uh, is a direct descendants uh, of the population. Uh, so uh, we can say uh, pr proceeding in this way and inter interpreting N as a generation index and C and I as the number of direct offsprings of the ETH individual uh, from the Nth generation. So uh, uh, the, uh, how I, I want to say the most common interpretation is, uh, is uh, very interesting and it was the first, uh, this, um, and so, uh, uh, and I want to give uh, the second definition. The, this definition uh, says the Galton Watson process uh, with offspring mean, uh, we suppose this uh, offspring mean is finite, is said to be subcritical if uh, m is, is m is less one, critical is m equals z one, or supercritical if m, uh, this m uh, is larger than one. So uh, the main tool of the uh, studying of uh, branching process is the generation function. So uh, uh, let uh, we de denote by f is fs the generation function of the direct descents of uh, of particles, and uh, uh, by uh, we define f and s the generation size probability generation function. So uh, the, there is a well known inequality. Uh, equality, I'm sorry, uh, the, uh, the following theorem is hold. Uh, for any n, uh, we have the, uh, this equality. Uh, here, I don't, I didn't say that uh, we, uh, uh, we, uh, we almost assume, we, we almost assume this uh, probability is uh, uh, larger than zero and the, the uh, P, P0 plus P1 is uh, always, uh, we assume that the, uh, this is, is less than one. So uh, it's a well-known equality. And now uh, we have uh, two, uh, there is a, uh, uh, this theorem says about mean and variance of Zn. Uh, for uh, it's very simple equality shows that uh, expectation of branching process with the uh, watson process is uh, calculated with, um, equals to M and, and variance uh, is calculated as follows. And uh, the following uh, definition, uh, no, I want uh, to uh, hear some comments. Uh, for example, uh, the asymptotic uh, behavior of expectation and variance, uh, it's easily seen that the, uh, they are varies depending on the offspring mean, yes? But uh, if offspring mean, uh, uh, if, uh, M is less than one, then both mean and variance of the population size uh, decrease to zero. Uh, and the process should eventually die out. If M1 uh, one equals uh, one, or we say critical, then the means the mean remains one, whereas the variance experience a linear growth. In this case, a more delicate, uh, uh, say, delicate analysis of the asymptotic behavior of the process is required. Uh, so uh, finally, if M uh, is larger than one, then both mean and variance increase expon exponentially. So uh, depending on this asymptotic behavior, 
the Gartner Watson process forms three distinct classes. Uh, classes, yes. And uh, the following definition says uh, about extinction, uh, the, ex the time of extinction of, of process. The even this event, uh, the event, uh, this event is called uh, the extinction. Yes, uh, the extinction system time uh, is defined as follows. Uh, so the moment that then hits zero, yeah. Uh, let uh, Q denotes the probability of the extinction event. Uh, the following theorem uh, reads as follows: If our process is uh, subcritical, uh, subcritical, and critical, then the extinction is certain. If M is larger than one, then this probability almost uh, this probability almost uh, is uh, almost uh, uh, this uh, probability is um, less one. The, so uh, there is a positive probability for non-extinction. For the more, the probability of extinction Q is the smallest root of the of this of this following equation. Uh, okay. it, uh, these theorems are well known, and uh, they are ca um, one can uh, find in, uh, for example, in books of Sebastianov and um, Harris and uh, so on. Uh, they are classical results. And uh, there is a very interesting question. Uh, what will be if we consider the critical and subcritical process? And uh, it's natural also to, to ask about the rate of convergence of the this probability. Uh, this probability is equivalent to, to probability uh, this one. Um, so it turns out uh, uh, that there is there are two positive uh, numbers uh, s and uh, two positive numbers and alpha from zero one that uh, this probability uh, uh, this probability is equivalent uh, to two different cases. So. Yeah, for example, where uh, S alpha is defined by um, following, uh, defined as follows, when I say. Uh, clearly, what uh, the assumption, uh, the later assumption, uh, from the later assumption, we can uh, get the uh, fail, uh, well, uh, famous result of Kalmogorov, uh, which uh, was proved in 1933. Uh, he proved in the critical case, we have uh, such uh, 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 such equivalence uh, is a uh, Kalmogorov proof. Uh, this uh, first uh, case uh, can be found uh, by uh, in the in papers of case and stignum. They uh, restricted. Uh, they restrict. They consider this case. Uh, uh, so, uh, so I want. Uh, to uh, uh, turn uh, to consider the critical case, uh, this is very uh, interesting. No, but I don't. Uh, there are another. We, we also consider. We may also consider the subcritical cases. But uh, uh, I want to tell about uh, logic process of immigration. So I um, only consider here a critical case. Uh, it's well known the these probabilities. Uh, 10 to 0 for all G. Uh, however, by uh, this theorem, theorem 4 and 1 and 1, uh, when uh, alpha equals to 1, uh, and uh, with, uh, variance of, of spring mean is finite, then uh, we have uh, this uh, equality. Uh, this equality equivalent to um, uh, some constant uh, multiplied by N. And uh, in 90, uh, mm -hmm. 47, Yaglan proves the following result. Uh, suppose that uh, we consider critical galton watson process with finite variance uh, of, uh, with, uh, with finite variance, yes. Uh, so uh, then we have this conditional uh, limit theorem. Uh, the limiting pro uh, random variable has an exponential distribution with uh, mean one. Uh, very interesting uh, theor theorem. Uh, yeah, this, theor uh, this result was uh, was due to Kalmogorov and Diablo uh, proved um, 
this theorem in 1947. Uh, yeah, so uh, now I have uh, to um, consider uh, to consider uh, fun functional limit theorems for branching process, and I need some uh, I need um, scalar space, and um, so a function uh, we consider a function. Uh, uh, this function is called Cadillac if it's right continuous with left limbs. Left limbs, left, uh, this uh, space, the RR, denotes the space of all real valued Cadillac functions on R plus. Uh, this R plus is half line. Uh, so uh, we denote uh, by D, denote the border sigma field in this space for the metric defined in. Uh, in, in uh, billing C, I, I don't, I, mm, I'm sorry, I don't uh, write uh, here uh, because there are a lot of things I'm, I must uh, to write in my presentation. So uh, they are in billing C, uh, in billing C there is a, uh, in, in this space he- Don't is, worry, uh, don't worry, we know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Uh, so uh, for this stochastic, uh, we say uh, for stochastic press process uh, with Cadillac press, we write uh, this process uh, uh, converges in distribution in Scarahot space D in this space. Uh, if the distribution of X and T on this on this space converges weakly to the distribution of X T on this space, uh, so this space is very good uh, because it's. Uh, we can say it's uh, separable and uh, it, it's Polish space. Uh, it's very good space. So, uh, so uh, they they proved uh, they assume that uh, the theorem uh, all conditions of theorem hold. Then for any x, uh, we have this uh, convergence. This converges uh, holds in square hot space where the limiting uh, process uh, is the solution of the following stochastic differential equation. Uh, the failure results uh, announced, was announced in 1951 and the Lindewall uh, little uh, later and in 1972. Very interesting uh, pro, uh, theorem, say uh, this uh, limiting process is non-negative diffusion process. Uh, Moreover, moreover, uh, this uh, process uh, satisfies the, uh, uh, this stochastic differential equation. Uh, so I want to tell uh, about you no know, uh, branch process of immigration. Let on the same probability space omega fp we define defined uh, this epsilon n of non-negative integer values i i d random variables with common distribution q q k and independent from the from the offspring were random variables. Uh, can, uh, we consider this definition. Uh, so a galton watson process with immigration is a discrete time homogeneous Markov chain defines, defines recursively uh, by this equation. Uh, so if we, uh, if we consider, uh, if we put what epsilon k is equal to zero for, for all k we can, now uh, uh, we get a uh, Galton-Watson process. Uh, so this process is generalization of the Galton-Watson process. Uh, there is an interpretation of this process. Uh, so uh, I want uh, here to, to uh, in particular, for example, if the offspring distribution is Bernoulli distribution, then the branching process with immigration is called, it's called first order integer built in after a recent time series. Uh, so uh, it has been introduced by Olsen LZ uh, and I uh, we abbreviated by inner process may be also written in, the, in this form uh, where we use a sinning or stutel and one harm operator. This operator one harm or stutel operator, which is defined by the following way uh, where x a random variable defines its x by the following, where the counting sequence. CJ uh, consists of IID Bernoulli random variables with mean M. Uh, these random variables are independent of X. 
So uh, the count in seconds in uh, uh, Excuse me, excuse me. Can I ask you uh, in this equation two two, uh, this operator M uh, is defined uh, with the help of the one sequence uh, xi j as I understood, uh, or the sequence can vary from k to k plus one. Oh, um, is it the same? Is it the same sequence, uh, uh, xi j? So uh, this, uh, so I want to yes, uh, yes, yes. uh, reply you, reply you uh, to this question uh, later because I want to, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting question because uh, this operator generates of the sum if x uh, is less than, z uh, is uh, bigger than zero, uh, for example, there is there are random variables xi which xi xi are uh, consists of ID yes. random variables. For example, but you know yes. you uh, you said the, uh, this general definition m uh, from x, but uh, previously you discussed the case uh, when uh, at least I can imagine the sequence xi j uh, uh, was different from uh, n to n. Yes, but now uh, the schema uh, slightly uh, modified, yeah? Uh, yes. yes, yes. Uh, I want uh, here, I want to, uh, uh, I want to uh, tell about the uh, difference uh, from uh, this equation, uh, from this equation. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So yes, yes. Let, let, let's go. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go. Yes, it's very, 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 very interesting question. Yes. Uh, what for, for uh, I think this formula shows the analogy with common autoregressive process uh, because uh, this M plays the role of, of an autoregressive parameter and what xi k is an innovation mm -hmm. of yes, yes, yes. For driving mm -hmm. process. Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, you, yes, you're right. Yes, yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, so uh, here. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can say the a branching process with immigration uh, is a uh, generation of uh, in our time series uh, because in our time uh, here uh, we uh, uh, if the offspring distribution is a Bernoulli distribution in this case uh, so uh, uh, here. Uh, uh, some historical uh, histories about this process. Uh, this theory of branching process uh, has been studied by uh, a lot of research. For example, the first limit theorem was, uh, uh, I think this first uh, theorem was proved by Sevastyanov and then Harris. Uh, Sevastyanov proved uh, in the some in special case uh, where uh, the immigration process is immigration process distributed by uh, Poisson, Poisson distribute uh, random variables um, and there are a lot of uh, works uh, so uh, we, um, uh, we can we can give uh, the following definition if expectation uh, if this uh, number is uh, suppose this uh, mean of the direct descendants uh, mean of the direct descendants is finite. Uh, this Galton uh, Galton Watson process with immigration is set to subcritical, critical, supercritical. Uh, if uh, if m is less one and equals one, uh, it's uh, this definition. Uh, uh, is analogous for Galton Watson uh, process. So uh, here, uh, some associated Martingale difference. Not uh, uh, I want to say here uh, that this pro our process inherits the critical criticality of the resident population. Uh, so we uh, to avoid trivialities, we will we will assume that uh, here uh, and uh, this Q uh, zero is less is less one. So uh, we assume that uh, the uh, variance uh, expectation and also variance of uh, immigration 
process are finite and for for each car we denote f uh, by fk denote the signal gap generated by uh, x0 to, uh, to x car uh, which are branching processes with immigration so uh, it's not to see that uh, this equation holds clearly um, it's also a very interesting property uh, this uh, m m car the sequence of m car uh, defines a martingal difference uh, with respect to the filtration thus uh, we can uh, have this recursion uh, so x car is defined by um, the sum of three uh, random variables uh, so uh, here, uh, here I want to say uh, what uh, the main difference uh, from the common after recursive process uh, is is the nature of conditional variance. For example, in uh, for after recursive process, uh, after after recursive process is homogeneous. So I want to say the if we calculate, for example, uh, expectation of uh, we we will uh, get uh, squared of m car uh, by conditional this sigma algebra. It's uh, it will be a number uh, for branching process. It it will be only it will be only random variable. So there are difference from them. Uh, yes, uh, difference from them. So uh, there is some uh, 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 we can calculate uh, here expectation and variance on covariance of uh, branching process with immigration. And uh, here uh, we can see the uh, ge generation function of this uh, branching process. Uh, here, uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't write G is generation function of generation function of uh, uh, of immigration process, I didn't write. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, we can uh, uh, mm, uh, we have the following theorems. Uh, the, this theorem uh, is independently proved by Siriram and Foster. Uh, in uh, this uh, this theorem says that if we consider subcritical or uh, subcritical and critical process, and with this finite uh, B is uh, B is uh, uh, factorial moment of uh, direct scans of particles. Then uh, this limit, L, this limit uh, has uh, in the limit zero for any car. Uh, in B, uh, in chapter B, we can say uh, that if our process is subcritical, we have uh, this um, limit and this distribution. Uh, this uh, numbers pk, uh, uh, this sequence of uh, these numbers uh, is a probability distribution. Uh, this, uh, this theorem is well known and the following results uh, gives a limit distribution in the supercritical case. If we uh, consider supercritical case, super critical case, then the, there's a sequence of constants Sn that uh, this random variable converts with probability one to uh, some random variable. If uh, this x log condition uh, holds, uh, we say x log condition holds, then uh, the limiting uh, random variables is finite, almost surely. And x, uh, this uh, random variable has absolutely continuous distribution on half line. Uh, if, uh, contrary, if this expectation, uh, Needs to it, needs to it, isn't it? Doesn't exist, then uh, this random variable is uh, this random variable is uh, how to say uh, this random variable is needs to be a случайный Yes, случайный uh, So, uh, I want uh, to uh, consider the critical case independently. Foster in Sanetta showed that, uh, proved that this process, uh, the process normalized by the number of generation converged in distribution to a gamma distribution. So we consider 
Gaston Watson process with immigration, critical, yes, in, we can say critical Gaston Watson, Gaston Watson process with immigration with offspring variants, with find offspring variants. Uh, if expect, uh, if uh, expectation of immigration process is fine, then we have uh, this uh, limit theorem. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this limit theorem. Uh, where the limiting pro uh, limiting random variables has a gamma distribution with the parameters uh, gamma and one, uh, gamma and one, yes. Uh, gamma and one. And um, there is a very interesting term. So uh, uh, here I want to um, consider, uh, I want uh, to tell about uh, uh, limit theorems uh, when immigration process is dependent. Uh, first, uh, Nagayev considers this case and he proves the following theorem. Uh, he, uh, so uh, let us uh, let us denote uh, and we denote by uh, these random variables. Uh, th this is a branching broad, branching Galton Watson process generated by this particle arriving at the moment I with this equality. So I want to um, say every, every particle contributing to our population gener generates uh, a Galton-Watson process, Galton-Watson process. So our Galton-Watson process with immigration is, is viewed as the sum of, uh, as the sum of Galton-Watson Galton -Watson process. Uh, so uh, this equality holds. Uh, so this decomposition is a uh, convenient tool in proving limit theorems when immigration process is sequence of dependent random variables. Uh, we also don't know the uh, genetic Let me ask a question. Yes. So epsilons are dependent, yes. but um, the offsprings are independent. Is it correct? Conditionally, you know epsilon 1 and epsilon 2. Uh, we Yes, yes. Uh, if our immigration process is arbitrarily dependent, uh, this uh, this equality holds. Uh, so, 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 so my question was: assume that epsilon one equals say i, and epsilon two is j. Yes. Uh, then conditional. Uh, uh, distribution of yes. uh, the number of offspring of their in, of their um, offsprings depends only on i and j, and that's all. Is it correct? Tadule, chun terbiersh kire yom wafiyatena. Pachun vapros panyachan va tadule. Не, не, я просто могу не Размножаются иммигранты потом независимо. Да, то есть, когда у нас иммигранты, вот, значит, иммигрант приходит к, к нашей популяции, каждый иммигрант, поступивший на нашу, нашу популяцию, дает начало к некоторому ветящему процессу. Вот каждый дающий этот ветящий процесс, оно является независимой и стационарной. А, хорошо, спасибо. Да, оно... Да, ну, да, независимо стационарно, да, да, да. Значит, uh, this, uh, the following theorems, uh, theorem was for, uh, proved by Nagaev in 1975. Uh, he, uh, so he, he considered uh, the uh, immigration process is uh, st stationary in wide sense and uh, this Rowan, uh, Converge to zero, and this uh, very interesting condition holds. And under these two conditions, uh, these uh, random variables weakly converge to gamma distribution. Um, mm -hmm. This theorem of Nagayev in 1975. Uh, so, uh, uh, so yes, in 1972, uh, uh, Asadulin and Nagayev managed to weaken conditions of Nagayev to. Uh, up to the condition type of ergodicy. So uh, the, the following theorem holds. Assume that uh, this condition uh, 2.4 holds. If there exists a random variable 
such that such that the uh, uh, this uh, this random uh, this holds uh, this this condition holds then we have uh, then we have uh, this limiting distribution uh, mm -hmm. uh, big, uh, here uh, in, in, in theorem 50 uh, there are uh, it's very interesting because uh, um, they didn't impose any condition on dependent on dependency and uh, equal distribution. There are any uh, condition on on the nature of Xi. Uh, it only must uh, uh, the seconds only must satisfy this condition. This condition. Uh, so uh, uh, we now we define the step function. Actually, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, am I right that uh, it means even that this epsilon y can be heavily dependent? For example, the uh, all can be equal to this uh, random variable epsilon. Yes. 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 Yeah? So uh, this is uh, not only non ergosity but uh, something else. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you. So uh, now we define the step function. Uh, in 1979, where Winnicke proved uh, this fluctuation uh, in theorem, uh, they considered critical uh, branch process immigration with finite variance of descendant uh, particles uh, with uh, finite variance of immigration process, variance of immigration process. Then we have uh, this. Uh, Convergence. This converse uh, holds in square hot space where uh, uh, limiting process is a unique global strong solution of the st of the following stochastic differential equation. Uh, this uh, stochastic differential equation, where uh, W at A is the standard winner process or standard winner process. Yes. Uh, so uh, our immigration process is IID. And uh, uh, they proved uh, this uh, limit theorem. Uh, so then uh, now we consider uh, branching process in uh, uh, the following by the following way. Uh, let for each r n we have two sequence of independent and identical distributed random variables with non-negative integer values. The sequence of branching process with immigration is defined by the Following recursion relation. Yes. Uh, uh, here uh, we have um, uh, interpretation. We can give interpretation, and uh, uh, we uh, assume for all n we have uh, this. Uh, uh, we denote by. Um, uh, we assume these uh, variables exist in finite. Uh, so. Uh, we have uh, the following definition. The sequence of branching process with immigration, uh, which is defined by 2.6, is called to be nearly critical if, if uh, mn uh, converts to zero and sn converts to, to infinity. Uh, so this kind of parameterization for the first time uh, has been uh, considered by Siriram. And uh, we now here I want to provide uh, his theorem. Uh, uh, he said uh, he considered uh, uh, he considered the stochastic process by this way and uh, serum results as follows. Assume the following condition hold, conditions hold. Uh, so, uh, so MN uh, has, uh, has the form in this way and we have uh, four conditions. Uh, then uh, we clean square hot space D, we have uh, uh, this limit theorem uh, where the convergence holds, where only holds in square hot space, and uh, the limiting process is a unique solution of the stochastic difference equation. Mm. Yes, uh, so uh, mm -hmm. later, uh, Ispani. 
Pap and Wei Van Zulen proved that Siram's result is also valid if uh, if variance of the uh, if variance of the descent uh, uh, particles converge to zero. In this case, the limit process is deterministic function uh, satisfying the non-random random non-random uh, non differential equation. Uh, so assume that uh, the three conditions hold. Uh, note that the fourth condition is is not needed for us. Uh, I'm sorry, the third condition is the Lindbergh type condition is needed for us because we consider uh, this case and uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, limiting process. Uh, deterministic, uh, this process converts in probability, um, say, we can say in probability into deterministic function in, pro in square hot space. Uh, square hot space. Uh, then uh, the, the following theorem is also proved in, in this paper uh, by Spani Pepe and Ben Zulen. Uh, they consider they now uh, they consider fluctuation limit theorem for branching process with immigration uh, under the fifth five condition uh, we have uh, uh, we have the uh, this convergence um, where the limiting process is uh, uh, onstein alamek type process driven by mt um, the sequence of mts here mt is defined by follow uh, as following uh, this is a uh, time changed winner process and uh, T uh, defined as follows and RT as follows. Uh, so here uh, WT is a standard winner process. Uh, so uh, do MT is uh, 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 Gaussian, uh, Gaussian Martingale. Uh, so it, yes, yes. Uh, so uh, then uh, the following theorem uh, is a generation of the previous theorem. It it's also proved by uh, is Martin Ispani in uh, 207. Uh, under these conditions, uh, they suppose the, the uh, variance is uh, less than zero, and this with this uh, rate. Assume the following conditions hold, and then uh, we have. Uh, this uh, um, limiting distribution uh, uh, is an Einstein Alamog type process, which is a unique solution of the stochastic differential equation. Mm, uh, yes, uh, because uh, the condition of uh, theorem 21 is more general than uh, the previous theorem. Uh, here the normalization uh, square square root uh, by n is here. Uh, it, here there is a band squared here. So uh, in the I want to tell about the following theorem. This theorem uh, uh, proved by Husambayev. Uh, he assumes that uh, what will be if here we consider uh, not n, uh, some seconds dn, uh, where dn is a sequence of real numbers such that with this, uh, with this speed, uh, uh, where b is finite. And it was assumed uh, b equals to zero if, if alpha is e equals zero. And with this uh, condition, with this condition, uh, so under this condition, uh, he proved uh, this normalization, uh, this process converts to uh, limit to this process, uh, uh, which limiting process is defined as follows, as follows. Uh, now uh, I, we, uh, <clears throat> If there is a, any uh, interesting question, what will be if we consider uh, uh, we consider our immigration process uh, uh, as by some uh, some dependence condition? For, uh, so uh, assume that uh, uh, we said that uh, here uh, covariance of uh, so uh, we consider uh, here uh, uh, it was assumed that. Uh, 
the sequence for each uh, n is stationary in white sense, and we denote by uh, character characteristic function of this uh, branching process with uh, branching Galton-Watson process. That n i here is Galton-Watson process, and uh, define uh, we said here uh, also characteristic function of our process, general process. Assume that uh, our Hartis function has the following form. Uh, following form we have here, tau and chi is a remaining term which satisfies this inequality and um, this convergence. Uh, in 90, uh, the following theorem is due to Kusambayev. Uh, he assumed that uh, under, under four conditions, we have uh, this, uh, this converse uh, where mt is deterministic function. Uh, this deterministic function, yes. Mm. So uh, now I want to tell about some, uh, uh, now I want to turn uh, what will be if we consider non identical distributed uh, immigration process, what, il what will be what will be if we consider uh, non, non identically uh, sequence of immigration process? Assume that for each n, uh, the random variables, uh, uh, the random variables, uh, immigration process are non, non identical distributed random variables. Uh, so we define expectation variance of this process. Uh, uh, we assume that they are finite and they are regularly varying functions, uh, which have the following form, uh, where uh, here LR alpha n and alpha beta n are solely varying, solely varying functions in Karamata sense. Uh, then uh, exp, uh, mean and variance of the process uh, for when uh, in critical case is equals to, uh, uh, can be seen, it's not difficult to, uh, see this equals to this one, mm. where uh, sigma squared n equals to uh, defines by this sum n, the sigma squared n defines by this sum. So for each t, we define this sequence of step function defined as follows. Uh, Rahimov uh, in 20, uh, 2007 proved, proved the following functional theorem. Uh, suppose we consider a uh, critical branching process of immigration with finite variance of descendant uh, particles, and uh, we suppose that alpha n uh, tends to zero and Bn controls uh, by n multiplied n multiplied to alpha n. Uh, so then we have this convergence. Uh, this convergence holds in the Scarahot space uh, where double beta is a standard winner process. Mm. Uh, uh, I yes uh, here um, so here but uh, then I I provide only one theorem there is uh, two uh, there are uh, there are two the uh, theorems uh, holds on uh, holds. Uh, here, what will be if we uh, change the alpha and beta n here? And uh, uh, Rahim also managed to prove uh, to prove functional line terms. Uh, for example, what will be if uh, alpha n it's O uh, n uh, minus one b multiplied by by n? There is a, there are a result by Rahimov. Mm. So uh, yes, so, uh, then uh, uh, I, with my super, uh, we together with my supervisor managed to uh, weak in conditions of Rahimov. Uh, so I want to <coughs> say uh, this Rahim's result was uh, generalized uh, uh, for M-dependent random uh, immigration process. And we have managed to uh, we can uh, we can this theorem uh, this theorem to mixing uh, mixing uh, 
few mixing condition uh, with some appropriate, uh, the sum of mixing condition must be finite. Uh, uh, so we have we managed to prove uh, this theorem when immigration process satisfies fee mixing condition. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't provide here. Uh, yes, I don't provide. I didn't provide here. Um, I, I forgot, I forget. Uh, yes. Um, so it will be very good if we uh, uh, consider uh, this, uh, if we, uh, uh, it's very uh, good theorem. Uh, if it, it will be good if we consider here some dependency condition for uh, immigration process. So, uh, where Winnicke theorem is, is proved in 1979, and uh, what will be if we consider uh, uh, we suppose the immigration process is, for example, uh, very good uh, dependent, for example, stationary or ergodic. Uh, does it hold, remains hold the statement of uh, wave Vinicky? It's an open problem. Uh, it's very interesting. But here, uh, uh, this uh, limiting process is very interesting. Nature, uh, this is uh, process is global, strong solution, which is more difficult to, uh, to, uh, to check uh, of the, uh, of this, solution uh, so the uh, yes the problem is very interesting what will be if we consider some dependent immigration process i i finished i finished i finished <clears throat> okay thank you very much uh, for detailed and interesting explanation uh, and uh, maybe somebody have comments and questions please Uh, Андрей Анатольевич, можно тут? Да, конечно. На русском только я, я плохо владею английским. Садула, а почему не остановились на своих результатах? А что за доклад в конце что-то остановились? Надо было я... сказать о своих результатах, еще время да. есть же. Я, я забыл, я, я, я как-то, я извиняюсь, я был свой, я думал, что... Да, я вкратце рассказал, здесь у нас был еще один результат, когда мы получили оценку скорости одиннадцати в центр определения теоремы. Вот здесь я сейчас покажу, здесь я рассказал. Вот здесь в работе Испании был доказан функциональный определение теорема. Значит, мы перевели его в одномерный случай, и здесь в одномерном случае у нас получается нормальный закон. Нормальный закон, значит, мы рассмотрели значит оценку скорости мы получили результат здесь очень интересно значит, значит следуя классическим соображениям то есть неравенство двоеденцев воспользуюсь то есть методом качественных функций получили оценку и было очень сейчас мы, мы думаем что получится если мы рассмотрим это метрика в Калмогорова и что будет если рассмотреть в более других метриках очень интересная задача. И здесь еще задача открыта, допустим, когда что будет, если мы рассмотрим неравномерную оценку. А вообще-то, что будет, если мы рассмотрим близость двух процессов? Задача все-таки открыта. Мы только рассмотрели одномерный случай. А в многомерном случае, это я не знаю, как. Ну, я здесь, я, извиняюсь, я, я не успел рассказать о своих результатах и Вкратце я хочу рассказать, тут все тут почти все теоремы для функциональной поведения теоремы для вычерпных процессов миграции основывается, значит, когда есть, у нас есть поведение процесс, есть, вот, допустим, процесс Орнштейна-Улумбека, значит, здесь вообще-то смысл такой, что они все основываются на поведении теоремы, на мартингальную поведение теоремы, функциональную поведение теоремы, где была это эта теорема была доказана в книге, есть теорема в книге Липтера Ширяева. Вот, а, значит, есть основная идея, что мы должны проверить, что понять вот это, условия этой теоремы Липтера Ширяева. Вот, основываясь на этом. 
Да, ну, вопрос мне интересует само, сам вопрос, когда у э, что будет, если рассмотреть результат Вейвиника, это вопрос очень интересный, я, я думаю об этом, ну, здесь, не знаю, что получится, здесь очень, наверное, трудно, потому что... Ну, у вас были же функциональные предельные теоремы, когда иммиграция удовлетворяет определенным условиям зависимости. О них ничего не сказали у вас, наверное, время уже стекло. Да, я, Андрей я Анатольевич, не... мне хотелось бы, вот вопрос поступил, да. а иммиграция зависима, а как это процессы, которые порождаются от частиц Z и у него ну, обозначены, да? независимы. Это очень просто. С самого начала предполагается, что частица размножается по одному и тому же закону и независимо. А поступившие в популяцию иммигранты тоже размножаются по, по тому же закону, как основные частицы, при том, причем независимым образом. Отсюда следует, вот как раз он показал, отсюда следует, что ZI, ZIK, эти процессы, процессы Галтона Ватсона, они все независимы. Вот причина. Хотя, хотя сам, это, сам поток иммиграции образовано из зависимых случайных величин. Да. Вот и все. А скажите, Но... если эти иммигранты зависимы, так, то можно ли доказать, да, да, что да. Ремы... это же ведь не Мартингал уже, ну там же уже с фильтрацией какие-то проблемы могут быть. Применима нет. ли маркетинговая техника? Да нет, тут проблем нету. Сами процессы, вот, которые Z, Z и он обозначил, они по предположению, по конструкции ветвящего процесса иммиграции, они независимы. Это я понимаю, но ведь иммигранты да. зависимы, и может получиться, что второе ну, количество иммигрантов послезавтра зависит от количества иммигрантов э, сегодня. Да, 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 да. И да. Так, может быть у вас какие-то возникнут проблемы с маркетингальной техникой, потому что, ну, вроде бы как зависим... Ну, это схема, да, да, действительно, тут какие-то проблемы это возникает, поэтому рассматривается определенный класс эпсилон и тех, иммигрантов. Они должны удовлетворять определенным условиям. А, чтобы В общем быстро, случае, тут да? задача достаточно это, сложно, наверное, решать. А вот он как раз остановился подробно на результаты Вея и Виники. Вот ему было, с самого начала была поставлена задача, если поток иммиграции состоит из марковской цепи, что будет? Если цепь удовлетворяет определенным хорошим эргодический цепь, хорошие, условия, хорошие сильные условия, останется результат справедливым? Но он пока не ответил на этот вопрос. Вот задача, мне кажется, интересная такая. А вот ну, скажите, а, там, вот, там да, вот была да. теорема, где говорилось, что э, вот можно э, и другие условия приводить на э, процесс миграции, на вот эти эпсилон, э, да. где они становились вообще близкими к одной. То есть на самом деле они сильно зависимы, оказывается, могут быть. То. Да, э, да, вот, вот да, это, конечно. Это, это говорит о том, что на самом деле, э, ну как бы, когда э, работаем с помощью маркетинга, техники и используем ну, типичные условия на эпсилон, то есть такие, что там они слабо зависимы да. и органичны, да. вот, да. то, возможно, это вопрос техники, как бы. Может а... быть, может быть. Мне кажется, что тут, вот, знаете, как есть Анил, ты квенчит, вот это, я не знаю, как это на русский перевести, когда случайная среда. И тут mm -hmm. получается, что если среду вы зафиксируете, омега для эпсилон n, да. то получится, что у вас, ну вот, средние арифметические тогда будут сходиться к эпсилон от омега, да? И получается, mm. наверное, что тогда этот результат можно применять просто для какого-то хорошего потока иммигранта, чтобы просто у них средние арифметические куда-то стремились. И все. Mm. даже мотождание, может, тогда не надо иммигрантов писать. Просто для каждого омега, ну вот, из пространства иммигрантов, которые, ну, независимо размножению, mm. омега будет распадаться на пару. Первое, иммигранты, да, а второе, вторая часть, ну, независимая, будет отвечать за процесс размножения. То вот, может быть, для ну, префиксированных иммигрантов у вас будет получаться соответствующая теорема, а потом надо просто будет усреднить по 
по, ну, по иммигрантам уже. Угу. Ну, здесь мне хотелось бы сказать, что вот, э, недавно по последние годы, э, годы появились несколько работ, когда рассматривается э, ветвящийся процесс иммиграции в случайной среде. Но мы тоже хотим перейти к этой тематике. Но там по, пока вот мы крутимся в этих вопросах. А скажите, пожалуйста, вот среди, еще... конечно, да. В случайной среде там очень интересные вещи, наверное, получится. Еще такой вот вопрос. Вот вы приводили э, теоремы, это э, сходимость э, как бы просто нормированного э, процесса э, с, с, и сходимость к аналогах, ну вот как бы э, да, флуктуации. предельной да, цен, да, о флуктуациях. Да, ну вот да. о флуктуациях есть ведь еще один тип результатов, когда мы рассматриваем типа закона повторного алгоритма. Вот. Это бы могло точнее характеризовать э, э, как бы поведение вот этого самого ветвящегося процесса вашего. Да, это очень интересный вопрос, но, к сожалению, работы такого типа нам неизвестно. Мы тоже не рассматривали, не уточнили поведение XN, да. такое точное поведение, как в законе повторного логарифма. Да, но это интересно, вот какие функции там получаются. Да. Вот, Согласен. Угу. Согласен, согласен. Тут и... Но пока ветвящихся процесса вообще почти нету таких результатов, мне кажется. Ну, для ветвящихся нет, но мне кажется, вот в каких-то схемах таких связанных, ну, ветвящий же, вот, вот процесс XN, он то немного похож на процесс линейной агрессии. Но вот для линейной агрессии, вот мне кажется, что Булдыгин э, делал такие вот вещи, э, когда э, у нас получается закон повторного алгоритма там. Угу. Так что, вот может, это интересно, стоит, это интересно. На процессы линейной агрессии, для них там чего-то уже есть, и может удастся как бы это сделать. Перевести, да? Да, я да. понял. Да, интересно, очень интересно. Вот. Ну, хорошо. Спасибо за интересный доклад. Было интересно послушать как бы ретроспективу всю и вот современное состояние дел. Так что спасибо, будем считать первый, блин, удавшимся. Тем более как раз масленица заканчивается у нас. Спасибо большое, очень большое спасибо. Вот он молодой специалист, скоро выходит к защите, завершает работу, должен защитить эту кандидатскую диссертацию. Вот. Ну, прекрасно. Удачи. Молодой специалист еще. Спасибо. Отлично. Спасибо, Отлично. Ага. спасибо всем большое. Да. Да, спасибо еще раз. Ну что, до следующего вторника. Всего хорошего. Да, я... До свидания. Спасибо. До свидания.